Welcome to the channel everybody, this is Hardware Despair, my name is Ryan, and today we are playing Unreal World. This is our Hurt, Helpless, and Afraid series. So, what are we doing here? We're at our base camp. Now, we've got a lot of stuff going on. If I look at my feet, I've got some leather boots there we had to take off. Um, we've got some leather sitting around, a couple small scraps, very, very small pieces from some birds we caught. Then we got, most importantly, some feathers and some cordage. The bones aren't really that important until we get dogs, but um, we're, not, we're not close to trading for a dog yet. We will get there, though. But uh, the wythe, and, which is a cordage, it's a type of primitive cordage, and the feathers we're going to want. And the reason I'm saying that, I'm taking like a rough inventory here of what we got, is because I think I want to move. The, I, I want to reestablish our main base. I think we're going to go for this other location we, we set up up here, up north, because I believe, if I recall, it's actually next to a small lake. And I've had quite a few commenters mention that uh, I should be trying to fish during the winter since I've got javelins. We can do some spear fishing. So I, you know, and I'm not really that accomplished of a fisherman in this game because it's just not something I've done. I always focus on actual hunting and trapping. And like fishing, I did a little bit in the beginning when you like, I remember like having boats and a few nets I would check occasionally. But uh, as I progressed, I just mainly focused on the bow and arrow and the trap. But uh, we're going to change that this playthrough. Okay, so I've taken a bit of a risk here and I have grabbed all the stuff we have. I'm heading up to what I believe is our shelter. Where is it? Oh, it's not here. There it is. Okay, I was going to say, I thought it was next to this little body of water. We found it. Okay. And we're very, very tired. As you can see, our vigor level is ready to drop. That's the lowest it can be. So we need to sleep. Luckily, we arrived just in time because we're also very chilly. So I'm going to actually... Oh, I can't stand him up. He has to be on his uh, prone because he is too tired to stand up. So I'm actually going to drop some of the firewood that I brought with me. Yeah, we're going to try and start a fire. I think he can still manage it. Yeah, if he's laying down. Very good. Okay, so first things first, let's munch a little bit of heather. And then he's got to go to sleep. But luckily, we're here at the new base next to the lake. So maybe we can do some fishing here. Ah, very good. Late morning. He's feeling hot. Oh, that's great. So let's drop some of the stuff I brought with me, some of the heavier stuff that we don't need to carry around, like the leather boots, the stones. I'm going to use those stones to lay out some traps. So there's two important things I left behind at the other camp. Number one is that elk meat, which is still drying. That's still got like two weeks, though. So there's no way we can just sit around that campsite for two weeks waiting for that. We'll just go back there. It's not too far, so we can always travel there. Um, but let's see here. Let me grab this core. Or actually... Yeah, I'm just going to drop the cord for now. Drop all this stuff. But um, the second thing we left important down there was those traps. There are still several traps set in multiple locations on the map in that area. So I can either go down there and just check them occasionally, or I can disarm some of them and bring them back up here. But the problem is traveling on the world map makes us very, very cold. So it's still doable. All right, let's drop all that stuff. Good, good, good. We dropped it all here. So trying to make this our new official base camp, because like I said, I want to try some fishing. And we do have a nice sized little spot right over here. So let's see if we can experiment with some fishing here in this lake, because I've got everything I need, I think. I'm not 100% sure. Let's go ahead and break the, break the ice open. I believe that would probably be the first step. Now, let's drink, and let me look. If I go to skills and then to fishing, active fishing, set a trap, retrieve. Oh, okay, I just did the hole in the ice. Let's do active fishing, and I'm going to use my javelin. All right, we're feeling rather warm. It's taking an hour so far, two hours. Oh, boy, we're still feeling okay. We could probably build a fire next to us. It's early afternoon. We didn't manage to catch a fish. So I think just my skills alone probably will show you I'm a novice. But we're also a novice at hide working, you know, and we've been doing that. So we're going to, ooh, he is getting cool though. So let's go ahead and cut down a little bit of firewood. Also, I should zoom in here for you guys. Also go into stealth mode. Let's do shift MT. Take some branches just for, just for tender. 
Now we'll cut this down for the uh, kindling and stuff. Beautiful. Because I do want to try that again. I'd like to get a couple of fish here. That would be great. Let's, uh, let's go ahead and drop. Oh, I'll drop four branches and one of these. That should just at least warm us up for the few hours we'll be fishing. All right, there we go. Taking them a little while to get it started. There we go. All right, let's do some more active fishing here. All right, it is getting dark, so I might cut this off. Oh, no, he finished it already. Oh, that one didn't take very long at all, but he did not catch any fish, so darn it. That's okay. Let's go ahead and eat. That was a full day spent fishing, and we were unsuccessful, but that's okay. I think ultimately it was good experience, and we're going to do it again. Um, I might spend actually tomorrow trying to do my traditional hunting method, and then we'll alternate. You know, we'll see how that goes. But uh, for now, let's see, he's only a bit tired, so I think I'm probably going to have him collect some branches, maybe cut down some trees. Oh, we've also got Heather here. That's awesome. I forgot all about that. So. Let's make sure we're in stealth mode, and I think I'm going to actually collect some heather, too, in addition to getting firewood. Okay, well, it is early morning. We're comfortably warm, but there is snow on the ground, so I have a feeling we probably we might not be able to do a lot of hunting. We might get to a point here where fishing becomes our primary method shortly, but I do want to move around a little bit, just kind of test the waters, so to speak. Oh, look, we got something right in front of us, and I think it's a badger. It's, I'm not going to, well, I guess I can zoom in real quick. Yeah, that's a badger. So I'm going to go ahead and encounter it. Now, I know I said these things can be a little dangerous in previous episodes, so I want to be careful here, but we do have some ranged weapons. Maybe we can take a shot at it. Let me zoom in. I will have to zoom out again, though, once we actually start to chase this thing, but let's see what happens. Let's throw one of our crude javelins at it. Oh, boy, here comes where, here, where our skill in spears comes into play here. Oh, wow. Let's see, narrowly missed the badger. So I'm just going to move towards where the javelin is. He's probably going to just run away. Yeah. It's a little bit too early, too. As you can see, like, just walking around, I'm still not able to see, like, the edge of the map. So we are still a little bit early for hunting. But um, let's if we move around the world map just a few squares, you know, the, the sun will come up a lot quicker. Okay. We're fine. We're comfortably warm still. Oh, now we're getting cool. All right, we got to watch that. So I'm going to head back. Yeah, we're chilly. All right, so we got to head back. And that was not bad. Um, we're still vigorous. Shoot, we could do some fishing now. Maybe just warm up with the fishing. Now I kind of wish I had placed my shelter down next to the uh, lake, the lake there, but that's okay. Maybe I'll move it at some point. It shouldn't be too hard to do. In fact, let me go ahead and do that now. Okay, and as you can see, I've got my shelter, at least the shadow of it, constructed. i got a little fire next to me, so I stay warm here. And let's go ahead and build this sucker. Nice. So we've got a new shelter. I don't think I'll disassemble the old one. It's still up here, just to the north, northeast a little bit. So it's right here within sight. Maybe I will at some point. We'll put some traps around, you know, so I don't want a shelter up here maybe. But one thing I'm going to do is pull that how do we pull something wait we yeah okay same way you pick it up so i do want to pull the log to my location because we're going to need this log if we're going to use this shelter down here for skinning and, and uh hide working we're going to need the log so i'm going to move it to there then push it into the tree i like to have it occupy the same space as the tree so that it doesn't like get in the way of my camp basically because i always like to build near a tree as well so anyway that's just a little side note now, let's go ahead and move. I've got, yeah, I've got a bunch of stuff here, but I think I can probably manage to pick all of it up. Yeah, not be overweight. Yeah, we got a strong guy on our hands here, so let's move it all down here, and then I will just drop it. Okay, it's a little bit difficult to see, but I have set three traps in this area now. So if we step out of the shelter, you can see I've got the uh, traps here. I will show you with my look command. You can see the little blue circle. There's one there, and I've got one in the center, and one on this edge in here between the berry bushes right there. So we've got three traps. I'll probably lay some more, maybe a few around the actual um, bank, the shoreline, too. Sometimes you see birds around there, especially in the springtime. Of course, we're going into winter, but as it turns to spring, I guarantee a lot of these traps will start to become more and more active. But uh, for now, we're going to do some fishing. 
Well, he is tired, but that's okay. I mean, it's late afternoon, so we still got some hours to go before I'd rather have him not, you know, go to sleep so he doesn't mess up his schedule. So let's go ahead and do a little bit of active fishing. S, F, and then one. All right, and we're going to use our crew javelins. Let's go. I'm going to watch him, though. Oh, didn't manage to catch anything. He still feels fine. Let's do that again. We can repeat that. So, yeah, crew javelin. Good. Now he's weary. Okay, so now probably... Okay, now he's... <gasps> Wait. Um, yeah, he's extremely tired. I'm going to cancel it. So we haven't had any luck fishing yet, but I'm not giving up on it. As you can see, we've established ourselves right next to this lake. I hope the lake has fish. Like... I mean, it sure, it sure has to, right? It's not a big lake, but it's got to be big enough. Anyway, I do need a fire, so oof, I don't have a lot of wood here. We are getting chilly. This is going to be risky here. I should have prepared for this a little better. Oh, no. We fell. Oh, we dropped. Okay, so that's not good. I need to get back into the shelter, and regardless, I need to start this fire, even if it's just a little bit. All right, let's warm up. There we go. All right, now we're warm and tired, which isn't ideal, but it's enough for us to probably cut down this little tree right here. So let me get this wood. Okay, now let me cut the tree down. Very good. All right, I'll grab all this stuff here real quick. Beautiful. Now that's going to be for our fire, get us through the night. Oh, what am I? I've got too much stuff on me. Oh, I already had a couple slender trunks, so we're good. We're good to go. All right, I'm going to drop it, and we'll start a fire and go back to bed. Good morning, everybody. Well, it is snowing out here, so it's a little bit hard to see, but now I'm, I'm getting smarter. I'm going to lay down. the Whenever I, after a fire burns out, I'm going to lay down the wood for the next fire, so I'm going to leave myself prepared each time. So if we come back here for whatever reason, extremely cold, we don't have to worry about playing around with firewood. It'll just be ready to go. So that's a good thing. Now, I do have some more stones on me, so we can always get some more of these slender trunks and place more traps uh, let's see here so I think I do kind of want to do that with some of the time today since the fishing's not being super successful and again that's just because of my low skill but some traps might be in order here so let's see here I don't I like to place them within my site so I'm gonna put one actually right here on this little piece of land that kind of juts out right there I think that's kind of a neat place to put one let's see how lucky we get here and eventually all this lake will, the, the ice on this lake will get hard enough that we can walk on it and other animals too. So at some point, you know, stuff might like cross through here like rabbits and things. We might actually get lucky. There's a lot of berries around here though. I could spend the whole day just picking berries and that wouldn't necessarily be a bad thing. I've got 69 pinches of heather, but that, it sounds like a lot, but it's really not. The problem is this does take time. It takes like 10 minutes each per bush. So it's a little tedious, you know, not to mention your guy is, uh, his starvation is not being helped by berries. That's, that's not the case. It will just kind of keep him like sustained, but it doesn't fill his nutrition. So you really need to get meat or else you're going to die. Okay, well, I think I'd rather devote my time to trying to fish more instead of picking berries, but uh, I did lay a couple more traps down to the south, so they're a little bit hard to see, but they're on the very edge. One of them's on the shoreline, and the other one I set actually inside the forest, which is a little bit rare for me, but I realized from this position of my shelter, I can actually see it, and I'll bring my cursor over to it so you guys can see. Here it is right here, down here by this tree, so I've got a perfect line of sight here. It just so happens to right here from that spot. Uh, if I move, oops, if I move out of the way, it, it will disappear, but uh, it's all good. We can see it from the shelter, so we're a decent spot here with these traps. Now we just got to hope we get some birds. Um, anyway, let's do a little bit more fishing. So SF1 and crew javelins. I wonder if we had some better, like, javelins. Would that help? I bet you it would. I mean, that's certainly going to not hurt, but, oh, man. We're going to need to start a fire. I hate to interrupt him, but... Oh, okay, he did finish, but he didn't manage to catch anything. Let's get a fire going, because he's still pretty lively. So we've got um, we've got a little bit more time. We can fish some more. Let's just check our traps real quick. Uh, looks, looks like nothing's there. All right, let's go. I'm going to zoom in for you guys. All right, let's do SF1 with the javelins. All right, now he's feeling better. Man, oh man, I also wonder if like different holes would work better, but I don't know. 
We just aren't having any luck. Okay, I'm going to give it one more try before bed. And we did not manage to catch anything, but luckily I've still got some heather and some berries so he can fill his belly with that. And at least that'll get him through the night so he won't... Ooh, he's feeling cool though. Darn. Uh, yeah, I'm going to need to start another fire here. Boy, oh boy. I, you know, I, despite the fact that we're starving, I do need to spend a day or two just getting firewood ready. Because as more and more snow collects, it's going to be harder and harder to uh, go into the forest and cut down stuff. But luckily, we are close to a big, nice big uh, patch of trees. I think we're going to end up cutting a lot of those down. Well, I tried another fishing round, but it did not go well. Just to warm him up, though, so it's good for that. But uh, I don't see anything in the trap, so I think we're going to do a little bit of active hunting. Now, this is a problem, too, with living right next to the lake, is you can't necessarily... You, for whatever reason, you can't leave the map when you're too close to a body of water. And I don't quite understand the reasoning behind that, but it is what it is. And it just means whenever I leave my territory, I'm going to have to kind of move away from it. But that's okay. Now, I can't spend a lot of time out here because it's getting dark. It's late afternoon. This wasn't the best time for a hunting excursion, but open up a little bit of the map. Oh, okay, now we're starting to get cool, so I'm going to head straight home. Let's get back into our shelter where we can start a fire here. Oh, oh, look, it started me on the wrong shelter. Darn it, but that's okay. That's something, yeah, that's a good reason there to take that shelter down. Because we've got two different ones now on the map. Whoops, I just ran right past it. So yeah, if, I think maybe tomorrow I will spend it. But that's okay, because I can just use that extra material for firewood. Okay, well it is morning time. We're still cool, because anytime that fire goes out, we're going to start getting really cold. As you can see, snow is on the ground. And yeah, that's not, uh, although it might be beautiful, it's not the best thing for our survival. So... I'm trying to get as much firewood now. I think today is going to be a firewood day. Let's drop. And it sucks because, yeah, food is just its really, really scarce. And it's going to get scarcer, trust me. So we're looking at our traps now, kind of checking them out. I'm chilly, so I, I'll, I pretty much have to start a fire at this point just to keep my guy going for the day here. So let's do that. One slender trunk. So I'm doing bare minimum to get, like, a decent fire here. Let's get that lit, and then, like I said, I'm not going to do any fishing. I think I'm going to actually stand here and cut down the uh, branches on this tree repeatedly while we warm up. It's boring, but it has to be done. So I have decided to go ahead and take down this shelter. Of course, I had to build a fire next to me if we have any chance of getting through this without freezing to death. So we got a nice roaring fire right next to our character. And I've gone into the building options, same place we actually build the shelter. And there's just an option here that says deconstruct something. So we're going to do that and select the area. Boom. Now the shelter is down. I'm going to grab all that stuff. We're good. Didn't really overload me. We're also comfortably warm. I think just to make full use of this fire, I'm actually going to stand here and cut the branches off this tree real quick. Okay, now we're sweaty, so that's perfect. I'm going to grab those, and now while I'm nice and warm, I'm going to actually come over here and take some of this heather because it's probably going to die pretty soon in the next like week or two. With Once all this heavy snow comes down, eventually all we'll have left are the cranberries, which we'll have to go sc scrounging for. Okay, well it's getting late, but before I turn in for the night, I've decided to go around and actually bait all the traps. So that's the last one I need to do right there. I have officially put bait in all the traps. And I know in previous times I've said that uh, bait is very marginal in terms of how the success it adds to your traps. But in this situation where we're in extreme winter survival... Every marginal bit helps us, you know, it's going to be the marginal parts are what's going to keep us alive. You know, that's the difference between life and death out here. So I am, I did sacrifice some of the heather that I collected. I'm going to go ahead and eat it. Um, I don't have a lot. As you can see, it's dwindling fast. It's even hard to spend time out there just picking it because I get too cold doing it. So it's become a real challenge. I'm going to go ahead and push a little bit of wood into this fire here. We'll do some of the slender trunks. Let me make sure I'm not carrying any. Oh yeah, actually I'm carrying a bunch of stuff here. So I'm going to drop all this wood. This is basically what I collected for half the day. Take that stone, drop that. Good, good, good. All right, so we're chilly, we're starving, we're a bit tired, but overall we're surviving. We're doing okay. I think we can actually devote a little bit of time right now to fishing, so let's do that. Get warmed up. We're tired, but we've got some energy, so let's do it. Shift, or SF, 
A and the crew javelin. I was also thinking too while I was collecting berries. Oh, wait, look at this. It says down here we got a notification. You hear a squeak from the southeast. You hear branches rustling, rustling in the southeast. So there might be something down there. Let's see the southeast. We didn't manage to catch a fish, but let's zoom out. Um, I don't see anything in my traps, but let's look around here. All right, I'm going to try and go into stealth mode. No, I was already stealth. Okay, good. Let's just move down here a little bit. Nothing's jumping out at me. It's very hard to see, though, because of the snow, which makes sense. You know, in real life, it's also difficult to see out and about when it's snowing really heavily. Oh, there's something right there. Do you see it? It's a squirrel. I'm going to zoom in. Yep, and you can still see it. It's right there. Oh, what a, we wouldn't give for that blessed little squirrel. It's a small one, too. Oh, man, that stinks. Why couldn't it be a big one? Anyway, we might have a go at this. Let's let's do this. So we're still sneaking. Okay, now it noticed me. If we can get it isolated. Oh, good, good, good. Where is it? Where'd it go? I saw it, and it went in this tree, and then it disappeared. See, the problem is they can move from tree to tree really well. So if they... If he gets himself into a spot where there's a bunch of trees near him, it, it will be very difficult to find him again. But I'm just going to keep kind of moving around. Okay, we're still sneaking here. We got to stumble upon him again. I'm going to pick up some of these rocks and stuff here. All right, let me have a little look around here. We've still got some warmth, so this isn't over yet. Okay, there, I found him. There he is. He's out on the ice. See? He's just up to the left of us. Oh, he sees me, so he's running. I'm going to zoom out. I don't know. He's a squirrel, so he's probably not going to break that ice. But if we went out there, this is it's too early in the season. We would fall through that ice and end up probably dying from hypothermia. I mean, I do have a fire nearby, so I might not necessarily die. But if I could even get myself out, so it's not worth it at all. What I might do, though is go into hiding mode again since he's his back is turned to me he's not going to see me I, i'm stealth now and i'm just going to kind of wait it out i'm just going to stand here and hit the the pot like the uh we don't move but we just command pass rest turn is the command and that's the five button on the number pad so maybe he'll come back this way there he is okay yep see he's kind of he's coming back he doesn't see me yet i should probably back up Maybe get behind a tree. Because I'd love for him to come back into the forest and get himself stuck in one of these trees that's kind of isolated. I don't think it's going to happen. We're not with us standing here. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to ignore him. I'm just going to go about my life here. And if he happens to stumble into one of our traps, then that's great. But Or if he comes back to the shore and I can get him, then we'll try that too. But right now he's kind of... Uh, He's kind of a, a very big risk standing out there in that lake like that. Okay, wow. So it is very early in the morning, and I made the mistake of trying to go out and chop down a small tree to get some more firewood, and it literally sent me into freezing conditions. Luckily, I did get the fire started, but if you look at my warmth level, I'm literally freezing. So I've got, like, I'm two stages before death right now, essentially, which is insane just how cold it gets out here, especially in the early morning. And as you can see, we're in what's called winter season up here. Let me get my cursor active. Winter season, the dead month up here. Um, so it's hard to see, but if you look down at the bottom, it says day one of the eighth week before midwinter point. So we're not even at midwinter yet. We're just approaching, like, the eighth week before midwinter, which is insane. But once we get to that midwinter point, it starts to get easier. From that point, it's like spring starts to grow gradually and gradually closer, but it's still very cold, obviously. So we're really pushing to try and get to that midwinter point. And then, like I say, it's going to start to gradually be downhill from there in terms of the weather. Well, the sun is fully up now. It's still late morning, so it's probably pretty cold out there, but I can see none of our traps have hit. Um, I want to test something. I want to go out to the world map real quick and just see how far we can walk. Oh my God. We take one step and we lose, we go from hot to cool instantly. Oh, and we're chilly already. Look at that. Yeah. There's no way we can even leave this map tile. Now we are totally locked into place here. Basically at this point, there's very little I can do. I mean, we're not, the good thing is I do have enough clothing 
that covers like all my extremities. So we're not really susceptible to frostbite. Um, we would just die of, fro of freezing to death before we get any frostbite. But yeah, these clothes that we have are just way too skimpy and rough to really be effective in this weather. Now you can get to a point when you've got full gear and it's all decent level that you can walk, you can be out here skiing around in weather like this, but we're just not at that point. Like it's going to take us probably a full season here, winter season of like just really hunkering down and just praying that our traps strike and not venturing too far from the fire. That's, that's the challenge of the winter challenge. I guess I should say that is the winter challenge basically. And, uh, we might not succeed either. I don't know. I'm going to keep trying with these fish. And I, like I think I've said, I hope that the, once the ice gets solid enough, I might go out a little bit more into the center of the lake, maybe set up um, a hole out there and do some fishing. But again, we I don't even know if I can build a fire out there. And that would be essential because like, you know, I can't spend time fishing unless there's a fire nearby. But uh, speaking of that, let's do it. I mean, there's not much else we can do right now except... I can barely even get firewood. So that's that's another big concern for me. Like if we could just sit here and fish the whole time, not worry about firewood, I'd be okay. But I do literally have to try and go out and cut down trees in this weather. And that's a big challenge. Okay, so I think what I'm going to do is just alternate. Like, so I just did a round of fishing and that got me warm. But as soon as I stepped out, I'm cool again. That's insane. I don't see, even if I try to cut down a small tree right now, it would make me freeze. I mean, let's do it. Let's try it. Look at that. Bitterly cold. Oh, I'm so close. Take a break. No. Oh, we're numbingly cold. See, we're literally close to death right now. So if this fire wasn't here, I'd be super like worried. But that's what we have to do just to get firewood. <laughs> okay. It has become ultra challenging. And like I said, I'm just going to try and keep this fire going pretty much nonstop. Now, I could just stand here and get spruce twigs too. So we can use those for fire. And it does pass time to get me warm. But you got to really get a lot of those to uh, get a nice roaring fire. Whereas like the uh, slender trunks that I'm getting from the little trees, those things are much, much better for firewood. Anyway, let's do some fishing. Get him warmed up. I'm almost tempted to try it with like those rocks, but I don't know if that would even work. Oh, we're doing so bad at it. At least we got fresh water, access to fresh water, right? All right, let's do it again. Crew javelin. Oh, man, oh, man. Oh, the fire went out. Yikes, that's not good. All right, I'm going to have to push some stuff onto there. Let's get some, I'm going to do like 84 of them. Get a nice little bed of twigs going. And we'll do one spruce trunk. Beautiful. Let's get that lit. Should be easier since there's some fresh embers there laying around. But man, oh man, that is it for another day here. You can see my starvation level. Ignore the hunger level because I can, I can get rid of that for a brief time like before bed. You know, just eating some of this stuff. But the problem is this level right here. Starvation is, this bar is increasing. When it gets to full, of course, we will die. So this is really the bar we're watching out for. Now, as we get higher and higher, too, our like physical abilities will diminish. And it'll tell me that, too. So it'll pop up and say, your starvation has increased or has d decreased your physical abilities. So that makes it harder and harder to run and, and actually do hunting and stuff. So it gets, it becomes more and more challenging, but we'll see what happens guys. Tune in tomorrow for the next episode. Thank you so much for joining me. If you enjoy the content, hit like, and subscribe, check the description for all the links I've got, and I will see you on the next episode. Hey everybody, thanks for watching, and now check out this fan art by a couple of my Discord members, Finn and Vita. It's pretty good, and I love the cuttlefish.